Shalom from the National Council of Young Israel here at our headquarters in Paramus, New Jersey. We are happy to launch our newest program under the guidance of our new board of directors called Four Minutes of Torah. Each and every week, you'll be introduced to a new Rav within the Young Israel movement who will share with you words of Torah. With that very happy introduction, let us begin. Hi, this is Yona Gross from Winwood, Pennsylvania. It has happened uh, to me on several occasions. It's probably happened to you as well that you may be in a new shul, you may be visiting someplace, and you walk in in the morning and you find yourself a seat and you begin, you begin davening. And then you get that tap on your shoulder from somebody saying to you those famous four words, you're in my seat. So you don't want to take anybody's seat. So you get up and you move. You find another seat to, to sit in and you feel a little bit bad. Why did this person have to ask me to move? And you know, in the back of your mind, there is this concept called Malcolm Kavua, that a person should establish their seat. But was it really appropriate for that person to come over to a new person in shul and ask them to move? So the source for Malcolm Kavua, the source for this idea of having uh, a permanent seat is found in Parshat Zvayera. The Gemara tells us in Mesech HaSprachos, Amar Rabbi Chelbo, Amar Rav Huna, Kla Koveya Mokum Litfilaso, Eloke Avraham Bi Ezra. Anybody who establishes a place for Tfila, the God of Avram will help him, the Chishemes Omrim Lo, and when he passes away, they'll say about him, a Anav, a Chassid, that woe unto this person who was humble, and woe unto this person who was righteous, mi talmidov shal Avram Avinu, that he was the student of Avram Avinu. And what is the source for that? So the Gemara asks, Avram Avinu mi makum. How do we know that Avram Avinu himself established a place to sit? So the verse tells us, Vayashkim Avram baboker el hamakum asher amad sham. That Avram got up early in the morning and stood in the place where he had previously stood. Uh, so there's two points that I think are important to make about that. Number one, what was the previous tefillah? I mean, one would think that the reason why we uh, would establish our place is because it's almost like a lucky place. We, we were successful in the previous tefillah, so therefore we hope that being in the same place will be able to allow us to continue to be successful. However, what was the place he was returning to? What, what was the previous tefillah? What was the previous prayer that Avram had offered in that spot? So if we go back a little bit, he went back to the place where he offered the tefillahs on behalf of the people of Stone. That he wanted, he davened that the people of Sodom should be saved. That's earlier in this week's parsha. And was Avram successful in that tefillah? So no, the city of Stone was destroyed. But yet Avram went back to that very spot to daven again. Why? Wasn't it an unlucky spot? So perhaps the answer is, is that when a person, when we daven for something, we ask Hashem for something, so sometimes the answer that we get is no, that Hashem uh, doesn't want uh, that, that you know, the response is that we're not going to be granted that request that we made for, from Hashem for whatever reason. So what do we blame that on? Do we blame that on, uh, maybe I wasn't in the right spot? <laughs> maybe I didn't do it exactly right? So the answer is no. You go specifically back to that spot because that perhaps demonstrates a muna, that it's not about the spot I was in. It's not about the, the specific uh, circumstance in which I asked it. Rather, the answer just was simply no from a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And that perhaps helps, that's at least one answer for the beginning part of the Gemara, that what do we say about this person who establishes this place, that he is considered to be an Anav, and he is considered to be a Chassid, and he is from the, uh, and he is from the students of Avram Avinu. So what does a nava, what does a chassid have to do with this? Number one, perhaps a nava is to say that I am not, um, that I just wasn't worthy. It just, it, it, it wasn't something that was coming to me. And it wasn't about the specific things that I, or the specific spot that I was in or the specific clothing that I wore. It was just simply an answer from a Kaddish Baruch Hu that that's not, that, he, that there's not going to be something that was going to be uh, granted to me. But the Tzach, the Nodib Yehuda on Meseches Brachos, so he adds uh, a little bit more of a Nekuda, a little bit, one, one more point to this idea, where he says that, um, 
that the Gemara tells us a little bit later on in Brachos that anybody who thinks that they have something that is coming to them, that they deserve it, that, that it's a zchus for them, really it's a zchus for somebody else. Really, it, a person should train themselves that they're not gaining something because of what they did, but rather it's for some external value. A person should always train themselves to be able to do that. And perhaps that's the idea of being having this specific spot. That you could say, oh, it wasn't because I deserved it, it's because I focused on tefillah to the point that I always made sure that I had a specific spot to be able to uh, uh, to daven. So who is the person in Jewish history that perhaps would always, could, could certainly say, oh, it's my merit as opposed to somebody that came before me? So it would be who this says. It would be Avram Avinu. Avram Avinu didn't have any forefathers that he could say, oh, I'm getting merits because of them. It's coming to me because of them. But yet Avram himself made sure that he had something else to say, oh, that's why I'm getting this reward. Not because of anything that I personally deserve, but rather it's Hashem gave it to me for some uh, for some alternative reason. And and, if, uh, and, and based on that, so a person will develop their humility. A person will become more humble, saying it's not my reason, but rather it's, um, it's, it's not because I'm a tzaddik, but rather it's because of some other uh, thing that I, uh, uh, that, that, that I did. So perhaps uh, being the person who, when one comes into shul and they see that somebody is in their spot, so is the question, well, it's my seat, I should be able to sit there. Or what is the anivas thing to do? What is the humble thing to do? Perhaps it's to move somebody out someplace. Maybe it's be to say hello to that person, but besides that, to then go someplace else uh, and, and, and not say, oh, it's because of this spot, but rather it's because um, I have humbled myself in front of uh, Kaddish Baruch. Thank you very much. Have a good show.